as you said, my name is Jen, mm -hmm. uh, Jen M. Tisa. Mm -hmm. I'm a HR practitioner and basically um, I've worked very many places as a HR person. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm currently on my own uh, um, farm. It's called Career Management Center. Uh, basically supporting organizations with their HR needs from, from uh, getting their workforce to separation. Mm. That's the whole range of HR functions. We also provide career coaching for people who are looking for jobs, who are looking to another market, and just how to navigate and ensure you succeed in your in your career as you proceed. Okay. Yeah. And with your experience, mm -hmm. at what point should one go for internship? Is there is there a limit? Am I, one can just go for internship before campus or after campus? Mm -hmm. or at what point? Uh, for me, it depends with why you're doing the internship. Yeah. And uh, the why is why people do internships is basically to build your experience. Mm -hmm. It's to give you an edge over the people that you're competing with as you go now. You finish school and you're looking for a job. Sure. So you're able to go for internship even from your first year. The same thing with volunteer opportunities, even before you start college. Mm -hmm. Don't just waste time. If you have a chance to go and do something with your time, please do. Mm -hmm. For internships, sometimes you have because I do not, have, do not require you to go for internship, but make it your business as a student to actually go and gather that particular experience. Because we realize, again, um, it's very different what you study in class and what you do on the ground. Those two are very different. Mm -hmm. So an internship gives you the chance to actually test the world, you know, like mm -hmm. test drive your career. Mm -hmm. So attend one time, please go. You learn very many things during internship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the first year, second year, learn just purpose to spend your holidays doing it doing something yes, yes, yes. you can get internship purpose to do that and you know with with our education system what you learn and when you go to the job market they usually most of the time they're usually totally different things mm -hmm. you actually learn when you're doing your your your, your internship apart from the experience you gain where the experience you gain during internship what are other importance of internship the important thing of internship, okay, we'll have some, some to your career and some to an individual. Mm -hmm. And one of them is, uh, like I said earlier, just test driving your career. I have seen people who actually go for internships, and from the internship, they change their mind. I don't want to pursue this career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel it's boring. I feel it's ABC. <laughs> I feel it's, so it gives you a chance to actually know you really mm -hmm. need to invest in that, mm -hmm. or now start looking at the options that you can pursue. Because most careers will have different options that you can actually pursue in that. Eh? But until you try, you may not know that actually you feel you spend the rest of your life doing obesity. You, have, you know very little of change careers, I would imagine. Eh? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it gives you that. Two, it also gives you a chance to practice what you learn in school mm -hmm. now there at the, at, the, at the workplace. The other importance is what you've just said. We don't learn much at school. We learn sure. the theories behind the things that are happen at the workplace. And I keep saying work is easier than actually the theory we do in school. <laughs> so it gives it also mm. gives you things like relating with people. Mm. Yeah. How to relate with people, how to be professional at work, those are things you learn during the internship. Mm -hmm. How to socialize, how to just do things beyond school work, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you realize that during internship you learn some very, very, very um mm -hmm. This is not working. Okay, we can use this one. Okay. Meanwhile, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we realize that some skills are not learned in school, like some of the soft skills, okay. like just problem solving, taking initiative, mm -hmm. um, even doing minutes. You know, you hear that when you're working, you be told take minutes for us today. Yeah. In school, nobody ever told you something like that. Yeah, especially if you have done engineering, you don't know how to write. Not just engineering. <laughs> yeah, not just engineering. Yeah. Very many courses actually mm -hmm. people don't get that particular kind of exposure. Mm -hmm. So it is your turn to actually be there learning a lot, a lot, a lot more than you learn in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, then, and you know, with the education system, especially if, if you're pursuing a particular course, they tell you after third year you have to go for this attachment or internship, depending on how the school calls it. Mm -hmm. Do you think the millennials take it seriously or the youths take the internship seriously with the experience with them at the job market? Well, I don't think it's about the millennials. Mm -hmm. uh, even below, below, before the millennials, you still have people <laughs> who not take things seriously. Okay. So it's, it's, it depends with you as a, as a person. Mm -hmm. How serious are you with your career? Mm -hmm. So it's not a millennial thing, because mm -hmm. we have very serious millennials, people who, are really, who really care about how their career progresses and mm -hmm. all that. So if you go for an internship and all you want is half credit and a, and a letter, to take to the school, <laughs> then too bad for you. Because one thing that I would like us to realize is the millennials or as youth as you say, mm -hmm. is that actually very many people get jobs from the internship. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you go for internships and you can even find that maybe forty percent of the workforce were once interns in this particular mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. or your boss recommended you to go and work for a different organization. Mm -hmm. So it it would be very unfortunate. 
-hmm. for any in turn to actually come to the place just for the purpose of I am required to do this to do this internship. Okay, please let me let me turn here. Some of them even request us to give them letters to mm -hmm. confirm mm -hmm. they are interning with mm -hmm. us or whatever else when they did not intern. Meaning oh. people have not actually realized the meaning of internship. Mm -hmm. But when you go for interviews now after school, someone who has interned <laughs> someone who truly interned and someone who actually focused to get the maximum uh, from their from the internship will stand out in the interview. Mm -hmm. We'll ask you some very basic things because as we said, experience is far much better than than the academics. Yeah. yeah. The theory of done in school. Yes, and also of course the other things that you learn like now teamwork and mm -hmm. and we'll be asking you so th those uh, those kind of questions. Mm -hmm. Someone who has interned will be able to stand out. Mm -hmm. Compared to someone who has not, who has not worked. So mm -hmm. it would be very unfortunate for anyone to actually <laughs> go for internship for the purpose of the school. Yeah. Very, very unfortunate. And how much seriousness should the, should the internship program be taken by the employer? I think uh, I keep saying this. Sometimes we take interns and as managers we don't, we don't give the time to the interns mm -hmm. or you, you keep giving them uh, very many jobs, photocopy for me this, file for me this, get for me this file, which is very bad. So mm -hmm. I keep saying, when time you have an intern, if you're already a manager, if you're the person managing this particular intern, you have a duty mm -hmm. to make sure that they actually learn something with the, during your interaction with, mm -hmm. with this particular person. Mm -hmm. So even, even as an, both as an intern and as a manager, but if your manager is not asking for this, ask for it as the intern. Mm -hmm. Can we just have a discussion? I would like to know that, I would like you to know the things that I really want to learn. Mm -hmm. during this internship. So have specific goals and have your manager understand that you don't mind doing the menu job, but you'd also like to learn the, fo the mm -hmm. following. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would learn that um, before I leave, I know how to program, I know how to do a BCD, I know how to do a BCD, you know? Just have some specific goals as an intern. And even as a manager, please purpose to make people learn under you. Mm -hmm. Because again, uh, like in other relationship, you're forming a footprint with this particular person. Yeah, five years down the line, they'll be like, I was an intern at KPC, I was an intern at Y254, it is where I learned how to adjust this and that and that and that, or I learned nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, someone, some, someone out there, maybe he has finished campus mm -hmm. and he wants to go for an internship. Well, what makes, he is wondering how to write a CV, what makes an HR approve one CV or disapprove the other? Um, the when, you're start, mm -hmm. when you're starting, then maybe there will be no much of that. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, but when you've had an intention, you're writing your CV, most people will pick you because of your experience. Mm -hmm. So it's very key that you go and learn specific skills when you go for that internship. Then you'll have a CV that actually makes you stand out. Don't waste time writing um, things that do not matter, like your age, your <laughs> sex, your nationality, your yeah. marital status, <laughs> the kind of things that we see. And then a list of a whole list of skills that are not required for that particular job that we are claiming to have and we know most likely you are coming to learn that. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. And then the importance of internship that it's very key that I say, you realize that every time we are looking for people to employ, fresh graduates will, will give lecturers mm -hmm. as their references. Why? Because when they went for internship, they never made any networks. And when they made these networks, after they went back to school, they never kept in touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't have someone who can actually comment about your work ethics, mm -hmm. about your initiative, about your character from a work perspective. So you're depending on a lecturer who can't remember you because even in class we didn't participate as much. <laughs> he just knows maybe you came to this particular school and he still has to confirm from the records. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's very, very, very important that when you go for those internships, you also form references, networks, social capital. Mm -hmm. Because you could either get jobs there or they could refer to us elsewhere, or we could even make them use, use them as our referees. You're talking about uh, networks, mm -hmm. making networks while doing your internship. Mm -hmm. What are the chances of you being discriminated even after during that uh, internship program is over? Being discriminated, what exactly uh, do you mean? Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, mm -hmm. you've gone for this internship, you've done the, the three months program because most of the internship are three months. Mm -hmm. Once the three months are over, you, you actually had hopes of being retained, mm -hmm. but instead they'll bring someone fresh from campus. It will depend on the internship policy. Mm -hmm. Like there's a place I used to work and the internship policy was not to give people jobs, but to keep training for the market. Okay. Because people are looking for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. People are looking for a chance to be given an internship. Mm -hmm. So our policy was to make sure that we actually give as many students as possible a chance to train with us. And our minimum was three, maximum was one year. Mm -hmm. At some point, you had to be available for a year for us to engage you. Okay. And the purpose was very clear from the one that this, this will not lead to a job. The purpose of this internship is not for us to recruit, but for us to be able to pass this knowledge, the skills, and ABCD and contribute mm -hmm. as part of our social, um, corporate social responsibility in training 
the next workforce. Okay. Yeah. So depending with the policy, and even as you go in, just know as much as you're trying to to also give your job a better chance to be employed and get a job there, it doesn't have to work that way. Because again, it's not always that we'll have uh, vacancies. <laughs> and you cannot be employed when you do not have a vacancy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you think interns should be paid? Uh, it depends again with the why of the internship. Uh -huh. When you go for internship, if they are able to pay you because you're also working anyway, mm. that would be good. Mm. But even if they are not paying you as an intern, what are you looking for at that particular moment? Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Basically, you're looking for experience. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be learning. So some of them will argue you should even be paying us. We are teaching things that you have paid school fees and whatever, but you still don't know. Mm -hmm. So if they are paying you, then lucky you. If they are not paying you, then I don't think that should be a point for you to keep delivering because you are actually learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are learning and you are learning more than just what you are doing. You are going to make mistakes with their things and get away with it. <laughs> So I think that should not be the focus. Every time I hear people saying, is it paying? Are they paying? Yeah. And people turning down opportunities just because they're not paying, they're pay. not being paid. Pay. And I don't think that's a very, very wise thing to do. <laughs> well, the paying intern is a debatable issue, but... <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. I would prefer that people are given even a very small stipend mm -hmm. just to take care of your bus fare and maybe lunch. lunch. Yeah. yeah. But if that budget is not there, would you rather they don't give that chance? Or would you rather you go for it? You, you know? go for it. Yeah. So for me, I'll look at the bigger picture. You are able to afford my bus fee and my lunch. <laughs> then I'll take for the internship because it's a learning that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had other organizations, some of the organization interviewing interns. Do you mm -hmm. think they should be interviewed? Yes, mm -hmm. they should. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Please tell us the benefits <laughs> because I usually don't see why you should interview an intern. You see, when mm -hmm. we are, like I said before, mm -hmm. sometimes we recruit from the pool of interns. So even for the interns, you want to have the best. Mm. Yeah. And people are different. In any group of people, yeah. you'll have different people. Mm -hmm. You'll have this particular intern who doesn't have even initiative to do anything. Yeah. You'll have this intern who lacks everything that, not just the skills, the skills you'll train, but the person you're bringing to the team. Mm -hmm. Are you getting? Yeah. Yeah. So the other skills that the recruiter will be looking for, apart from the technical skills, which is what you're coming to learn, because you assume if you're coming to learn from school, you may not know how to do this. That's what we'll be teaching you. Yeah. But you as a person, <laughs> who are we bringing to them? Knowing very well, we could one day recruit from our pool of yeah. interns. Yeah. interns. Yeah. So it's very, very, very important to know that it's a competitive world. Yeah. Yeah. Even joining a school, people are interviewed. Even kindergarten, <laughs> I hear people are interviewed. <laughs> so it's one of those things you have to stand out and know how to be. Mm. To be um, and that's why I keep saying, even before you go for internship, if you get a chance to volunteer, even after Form 4, mm -hmm. please volunteer. Yeah. Get to know other things that would make you stand out as a person. Not as the engineer that you are, as the teacher that you are, as the HR that you are. Not as that professional, but as a person. Why would people want to engage with you? Why would you want to bring you to, the, to our space? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Your final comments to, to anyone watching us right now and how they can reach you. Um, my final comments would be like, I would like us to take internship very seriously. Sure. Because it's part of how we build our experience. Mm -hmm. And we must always know that peop most people hire for experience more than they hire for academics. Mm -hmm. And most people hire for the personality more than they also hire for, 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 for academics and stuff like that. So as you go for your internship, purpose to build those relationships, purpose to build your soft skills, purpose to be very proactive. One of the things that I've seen in interns, mistakes that they make is you come to the internship and the day we have not given you work, you're just there eating your fingers and doing nothing. Be proactive. Know why you came for that internship mm -hmm. and follow up to be sure that you've been given work. Always offer a hand to help a different project if you already finished what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So don't just sit there and don't be the quiet one. If you have a group of interns, you're the one who never says anything, never contributes, we never see you because you're always at the back. Mm -hmm. So purpose to be seen, purpose to help other people, purpose to be, and even as an intern, choose to understand the policies of the organization, mm -hmm. choose to understand the culture. If it's a dress code, don't, don't just assume that you dress in college. So you're going to dress here. <laughs> understand, dress is it, does, do they allow casual dressing here mm -hmm. or do they allow me to dress in a different setup? Mm -hmm. And always ask for feedback. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Don't go through all through your internship for the three months or one year and you have never been given feedback on how you're performing and how you like to. And again, for interns, don't come to an organization and live without a mentor. As early as within your first, second week, you should have identified that your line manager or someone who's in the group, someone who can actually mentor you. Mm -hmm. to, to the career, someone that you can actually ask questions, someone you can actually ask, you know, 
things about how to drive your career and your internship in the process. So it's very, very, very key. And even when you, the course that you are doing is not giving you a chance, uh, it's not compulsory for you to go for internships. Please pump course for your own self. Mm. Yeah. Always look at the end. Know that you need to be able to compete at the end of your school, mm. uh, school work. So build that path now. Mm, okay. Yeah. Build your resume through internships in school. Mm, okay. To reach us, uh, mm. you can check us online. Uh, we are Career Management Center. Uh, you can also reach to me directly. Uh, it's um, Wari Monain. Um, that's for Twitter. Or Jane Mutinda in Facebook. Or if you just search Jane Mutisia, you'll find me in Facebook or <laughs> online or whatever. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Jane. Thank you for making time for us. Do come again. <laughs> well, key words from that is gain experience. Experience is as much as important as what you've learned in school. Aggressiveness, don't just sit back at work. Be aggressive and have a purpose while you're doing that. And networks, make networks. Network, network, network and take contact as well. Uh, and get a mentor as well. Get a mentor. Well, that's all we had for you here on Y254. Today is Business Tuesday. My name is Miriam Masava. Don't go anywhere because the buzz is up next. Good night and God bless you.